everyone welcome back to my channel today i am here because i have a small shop package so i have a tray in here so i thought i would do a small shop spotlight um i have not done one in a couple of weeks and i'm trying to make it a point to share more small shops support more more small shops um, and I'm actually on a no buy. So I think small shop spotlights are probably going to be the best way for me to get the word out about, uh, diamond painting shops in the community. Uh, but I did temporarily break my no buy to pick up a tray for an event that's happening. Um, if you watched Monday's video, you may have seen a little sneak peek of this. Um, but I wanted to pick up the event tray from Bijou Bliss for the Jeremiah Kettner diamond painting event. So let's open the new tray first. I have some drills here so I can um, show you how they shake out. And then I'm just going to show you my collection of trays from Bijou Bliss. So let's go ahead and get into this package. I am opening it off screen so I don't accidentally show my address. Is there an invoice? Yes. Okay, taking my invoice out. We do have a, oh, I have a note. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you for mentioning us in your favorites video. I'm hoping to offer trays with higher walls later this year. Thank you for your feedback and support, Christina. Oh, thank you so much. It's always, it still like blows my mind when I get like <laughs> a personalized note from a shop, like they know who I am. So thank you so much to Bijou Bliss for that note. Um, I'm really excited to share this particular tray with you guys because it is the narrow size, which I have not tried before. Um, but Brie from Painting with Pities, this is her favorite tray of the moment. She loves the narrow size more so than the standard, which is... The only size that I have in my collection, um, but they have recently brought out some new sizes and some new colors that I really want to check out, but they actually offered these trays as ready to ship so that you could get them quicker. So I had thought, I had toyed around with the idea of adding some other colors and different sizes to my order, but I really wanted to be able to use this tray with my canvas for the event. So once I'm off my no buy, I will definitely be picking up some of the other colorways and sizes because I think they have like a mini now and I don't know, you guys know, I love accessories, I love trays. <laughs> so I will definitely be picking some more up in the future, but let's take a look at what we have here. So it is bubble wrapped. My invoice did come wrapped around in this. Ooh, a 3D cover binder. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Neat. That's really pretty. I think, is this the same filament? I'm guessing. Very cool. Maybe I'll use that with my event kit. I could. I was trying to think of what cover minder I was going to use. I'm actually filming this video before I film Monday's kit and chat where I share the accessories. Um, so maybe, maybe this one was what I decided on. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into this. Now something that, it, oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so this is, Brie was talking about the filament for this one. I can't remember exactly what she said, but this is like a rainbow type filament. Ooh, look how pretty it is on the inside. Look at the blue. Very cool. This is going to be perfect for my Jeremiah Kettner kit. And then we have the stopper is also in the glitter filament. How adorable is this? Okay, so what makes Bijou Blish trays unique is their magnet system. So the top is secured by magnets. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm like, how do I demonstrate magnets? I guess like that and then the stopper also is secured by magnets and then you have magnets on the bottom so you can stack trays i think you can also do the lid which i don't tend to do personally but yeah you can stack the lid on the bottom and it stays there so very cool let's see what the size difference is how cute is that little kitty let's check on the size difference here 
So this is their standard tray, which I will show you my collection uh, in just a few minutes, but let's take a look. Oh, okay. So what is that? Do I have a ruler? <clears throat> no, but I have a measuring tape. Okay. So it looks like just over like half an inch bigger. It looks like the walls are the same height. And these do magnetize together. However, you're only lined up with one set of magnets on this side, well, two, I guess. So I don't know that they would be super secure, but they do magnetize together. Let's take a look at how the drills line up in this narrow size, because I am very intrigued. I have some round and some square. So, ooh, look at that. Those lined up so nicely. A little bit of trash in there, but very straight lines. Let's take a look at the squares. Very easy to pour back in, which we love. Those rounds are from Diamond Art Club and these squares are from Dreamer Designs. Squares lined up pretty well. I didn't have a lot of um, square drills left over from the kit that I just finished, so I would probably pour more drills in there than this, but it gives you an idea of how things line up, which is quite nicely. These also aren't the best quality square drills, so things are coming a little bit crooked, but that is definitely the drill versus the, the tray. Um, like I said, I have used Bijou drill Bijou, what? Bijou Bliss trays before many, many times. So I do know how they function and operate and I have very good luck with them, which is why, as mentioned before, they did make it into my best of 2023 Diamond Painting Edition. So here is our new tray. It's just, I love that little cat. I will be trying to find kits to use this tray with as often as possible because how can you not? All right, let's take a quick look at my collection of Bijou Bliss trays. I did mention before that I have all of their original size. I don't quite know what they call these on their website now, um, but this is just the standard original size tray. So I have this really beautiful sparkly blue. I have used, I think I've used, have I used all of these before? Pretty sure. I have a few of their, I don't know what to, like two colorway ones, I guess. Um, these ones were ones that I ordered as custom. So I have this green with the red diamond and then the inside is red. I can't remember if I used the red colorway or the green colorway of this during Christmas, but I know I used one of them. So I might as well show you the red one. Oh no, I lost my stopper. Here it is. We have the red with the green diamond and then the inside is green. These are so cool. I love when the trays are two different colors. I don't know why, I just think it's so cool. I will also say that the quality of the 3D printing on these particular trays is so good. I have a very large collection of 3D printed trays. <laughs> we know this and oftentimes you will get like spare pieces of filament or filament will start to separate. I have found that these trays are just printed with really high quality filament. Now, I don't know really anything about 3D printing, but I just feel like they must use really good filament. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's, I mean, I would assume like anything, right? There's a a really, really good version and then there's like, a, eh, that's okay version. I feel like they must use the really, really good <laughs> version because also this is so smooth. 3D printing is, oh Jesus, 3D printing is so interesting to me. I don't know why, it just is. Okay, and then I have a orange and purple, which I thought was like, you know, Halloween-y type colors. That purple is so pretty. And then, do I have another? I do, I have a couple more of the two colorway ones. I have this purple with like a periwinkle. 
I don't think I've used this one. I haven't found the perfect kit to use this one yet, but it's so beautiful. And then I have an orange and white. Now some of these, I don't know if they still list two-way colors or if they're all custom, but some of these I had ordered just as their colorways that they had made. So they made some two-way trays and then they posted them on their Etsy shop and I just picked them up. Um, but you can, like I mentioned before, you can do custom colors as well. And then I think the rest of these are just the, no, it looks like one of them is actually <laughs> another two-way color. So this is like a teal color with a sparkly white, I guess. And then the inside is white. Okay. And then these two should just be traditional standard colorway. So we have a rose gold. I always tend to pick up a rose gold tray from every tray shop. I don't know why. And there is the inside. And then I have this translucent like watermelon color. Pretty. All right, let's stack these just for fun. <laughs> let's utilize the magnets. I don't know how many you can stack together, but we're gonna go for all of them, because why not? Oop, piece of my hair. Look at that. We have a stack of Bijou Bliss trays. Look at that. So pretty. I do really enjoy these trays. I highly recommend them. Please check them out if you have not done so already. I do believe that the event tray has sold out, but they just released some really pretty winter theme, like snowflake ones, which again, I'm on a no buy, so I did not pick up, but they were super pretty. Um, so definitely give their shot. Is this upside down? I'm not understanding why this one isn't. Oh, there we go. Um, please give their shop a like or go check them out on Etsy. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. I will leave links to things in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed today's small shop spotlight. Um, if there is a shop that you would like me to check out, please let me know in the comments. There is another, um, I'm trying to think. One of you had mentioned a shop and I cannot remember the name of it now, but I do always head over to Etsy or their website. I like to follow the shop. Um, and when I'm off my note buy, hopefully I can pick up some more diamond painting accessories um, from new shops and shops that I love. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjo enjoyed, enjoyed <laughs> this small shop spotlight and I will see you all on Friday for Post Review Friday. Bye!